Southeast is merely following history created by the North and Southwest, Shehu Sani. A few minutes ago, former Kaduna lawmaker, Senator Shehu Sani, took to social media to insist that the Southeast should not be blamed for criticizing Igbos who have refused to express support for Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Gregory Obi. In a tweet he posted on his verified Twitter handle on Saturday afternoon, Sani, who is a People's Democratic Party PDP chief, chieftain, explained that the lack of tolerance exhibited by the Southeast towards Igbos who, who wouldn't support Obi's ambition is a character trait that was first started by the northern and southwestern regions of the country. According to him, Yorubas who refused to support Abiola's ambition several decades ago were considered traitors. Going further, Sani also pointed out that northerners once referred to those who opposed Muhammad Buhari's candidacy as infidels. He wrote, If history matters, any southwesterner who opposed Abiola was considered a traitor. Any northerner who opposed Buhari was condemned as an unbeliever. With Peter Obi, the southeast are simply towing that line of history we have either forgotten or ignored. Have a blessed weekend. Make sure to leave them in the comments down below as I check out what other people have to say about this. No, sir. Notwithstanding the massive support Abiola and Buhari enjoyed from the regions, they did not completely isolate other contenders in the election. It is unprecedented. Obi had 80 to 96 percent votes of the total votes in the entire Southeast out of the 18 presidential aspirants. That was not the case with Abiola and Buhari in their respective regions. The Southeast posture was to the extreme, and that has created massive hate and anger against other tribes and further sustained their beliefs of Obi's imaginary victory. The North and the West fought for civil together against Biafra, so the civil has not yet ended, as the evidence of the war is still noticeable by the actions of the leaders of Nigeria. How was the Southeasterners that didn't support Azikwe or Ojuku called? After what the Southerners have experienced in the hands of the previous administrations, no Southerner would have preferred another candidate to Obi if he or she was not part of the system which neglected the Southerners and treated them unjustly. Those opposing Obi are just infinitesimal bots over long throats Igbo politicians. No reasonable man who means well for Nigerian people and progress of Nigeria will hate Peter Obi. Chief Obasanjo has been consistent in his love for Nigerian people and advising that Obi is a personality Nigeria needs now for development and repositioning Nigeria. So people should not be bothered on what few Igbos are doing against Obi. Some people didn't read Shehu Sani's write-up and didn't understand the content. He didn't abuse anyone, but showed historical antecedent. Obi got his massive support from the Southeast, just like MKU Abiola and Buhari before him. Those who didn't support are seen as traitors to Abiola and Buhari, apply to Obi, and people should understand that. Understand the message and stop being a bigot. Hatred is a disease. You support Obi and that's your choice. Shehu Sani did not say you did wrong. Abiola and Muhammadu Buhari had similar support. 
I disagree with you. Yorubas don't do that. Or else, how come there hasn't been any force for Tinubu losing Lagos and even Oshun? Sani's postings are no longer well thought out and coordinated as is expected from an intellectual. He brought himself so low and would want to speak on everything nowadays, including trivial issues. Nothing has been forgotten or ignored. They are resurging more and more with trend of sectional leadership in Nigeria since Buhari and Tinubu or APC inception. Sani is one of the real elder statesmen I respect in Nigeria. I love this man for always speaking the truth. I think in fairness, everyone who are speaking against the Igbos are only doing so in order to give a dog a bad name. I am neither Igbo nor Yoruba, but we must try by all means to speak the truth at all times. Same way, Igbos will support people like Sani sometime in the future. The support of Obi was simply on principle of fairness and equality, which requires an Igbo man to be the next president. He was the most qualified. An average Igbo man believes in equity and fairness. That's why they supported Abiola despite being Muslim. Equity is enshrined in the traditional religion and they supported Obasanjo, Yeradua and Jonathan. I cancel that bad history created by North and South, West against South, East in Jesus' name. Amen, because that bad history does not hold anything because Igbos must be president of this country one day in Jesus' name. Shehu Sani is a true Nigerian. I love his style of politics. Mr. Sani, no matter what, I still love you, sir, my excellency. You are an honest man. I am Igbo, but I love him the way I live Yaradwa during his lifetime. So my fellow Igbos, this man is a very respectful man to this country. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And to share this video with your family and friends.